Hello, everyone. I'm back again with another poem from Be'er Janach. I've been enjoying making these, and I have found it to be good speaking practice. So let's get into it. Hanoich noch ro andanach. Zengaur fad fuer. Le kruban eg do hasengol. Garam vaimi ach le uer. And the English? This night is direly boisterous, the winter long and cold. At thy feet let me crouch under, though I got but half an hour. Just underneath this poem, in the English part, you can see it says, Quoth the kidling to the lamb. If I'm honest, I'd never seen the word quoth. I've seen quote, but I've not seen quoth. Often that's the case. I'll be reading some of the old material <laughs> And they'll write it out in English, or what may also be Scots, I'm not entirely sure. But I have no idea what they're saying sometimes. I really don't. I suppose that's just how language changes over time. And if it's Scots, then in that case, it's because it's a different language. So as we can see in the first line, the a ah from un, for example, a neich, is not written nor said. So it's just neich, ha neich, like that. And then the final e eh, is also not said, so it wouldn't be eich. It's just eich. In the next line, we have gaur rather than gaurag. In East Perthshire, the genitive form gauri is said. Same with uh, sauri for summer. But the r sound at the end, the a d h in terms of spelling, is almost never said, I believe. I don't know that I've ever seen an instance of it actually said in conversation. Written, yes. In poetry, yes. But actually said, I don't believe so. Another one is the uh, fad, rather than fada. The fad, fuer. I don't know that there's much to comment on in the next sentence, le kruban, but the gon at the end, can actually sometimes be said as don, depending on the sentence. For example, behardon, I should. At the start of the next line, we have gar, which um, I find interesting, because in East Perthshire, I often see get, get and ve, instead of gar. And sometimes in other parts of Perthshire, I have seen gat, but the speaker whose Gaelic I follow from Blair... She said get, I believe. So don't think this one is too, too different from standard, perhaps. And I found the poem itself to actually be quite easy to understand and easy to say. Now, I'm not really sure of the word, andernach. I don't know that I've come across it in my book yet. So because of that, the andernach is basically just basing the pronunciation on how it is written rather than how I know it is said because I don't know how it is said. So once more, Anich noch ro andanach san gyaur fad fuer le kruban eg do hasengo gadam vaimi ach le uer This night is direly boisterous the winter long and cold. At thy feet let me crouch under, though I got but half an hour. Just as a disclaimer, I want to say that I'm not an expert. I am just a passionate enthusiast. So by all means, feel free to use anything that I have created as a jumping off platform or use it for your own things. But... I cannot guarantee that it is 100% accurate to how people in East Perthshire spoke or speak the language. With that being said, however, I hope that some people find these audios or this podcast or whatever you want to call it helpful. I hope you've enjoyed it and I do hope you will join me for the next one. Thank you very, very much for listening. Please be well, be safe and take care.